All right, hello again. I said I was going to follow up with the, um, another one leg stuff. So balance is really important in skiing, uh, which means our foot strength. We have to have strong feet. And doing stuff on one foot is helpful. I'm certain of it. So the last video I did, we did this uh, tree pose. Try to sustain five minutes is the goal. You're gonna need to take breaks on this. Uh, your hip's gonna heat up. So and we're trying to keep uh, mindful of the pressure and balance of, on our feet. So am I back on my heel? Am I leaning too far forward on my toes? If you're too far forward, your calves or your shins are just gonna fire off. So try to find that happy balance. Flexing the feet, the ankle, the calf, the shin, quadriceps, the hamstrings, the groin muscle. We're trying to keep from bow legging our leg out. We want to keep that knee in so everything lines up over the center of the arc, center laterally and center fore and aft. Uh, and you'll find you lose your balance once in a while, just like that. And our goal with this was to be able to look around and assess things around you and maintain your balance. Okay, so that's the goal. And the only way you're going to get there is to do this stuff. Put some headphones on and balance on one foot. Okay, you can follow along, along and make me your, uh, your pace setter. I just turn the audio off if you listen to me already because there's a teaching uh, and it's beneficial I, I believe to hear teaching of why I do what I do for skiing. Okay, so all this actuation we're going to do today standing on one leg without slumping. Okay, I want to stay tall on it. It's going to simulate some of the motor skills of skiing, of extending. Okay, when we extend out, we're going to have our foot flexed. This is something that in my earlier videos, I was extending the whole foot. Okay, so on this outside leg, when it's a long leg in a turn, I was extending that foot and then retracting it back and extending and retracting. And I did that with just kind of a concept, my own logic, that if one thing needs to extend, they all should extend. But really, it has tactical um, benefits to have the ability to extend your foot, open your ankle when you're trying to find the snow. You may, if you're a racer, you might have come over a transition and got a little too light and you reach out and you get that, you find that snow with, with your ski uh, through an extension and then you make the adjustments from there. But for the most part, if we want to be dialed on our ski, uh, we want to extend so our weight is going through the center of the arch. And that'll be hard to do if we open the ankle. So we want to keep that ankle flexed, tight, and extend with that flexed ankle. That's going to keep us forward and finding the front of that ski. Because if we don't find the front of that ski immediately, it's not going to bend. It's just not going to want to bend yet. So we want to go through transition and, and have the front of that ski immediately. And that's what the flexed ankle during extension will help do. Uh, and then as we come across here, this outer leg is going to flex, but not as much as if it was the inside leg. Okay, so we're coming across, we're flexing this outer leg, and it's giving up things to the ski on the other side now. And it's going to direct, aim, and pressure. We're going to keep that foot flexed, we're keeping that ski in there. It may only touch zero to 10%. So 
Sometimes you might even be on it through transition. Okay, keep that flex. So we feel the pressures going through the center of our arch. Okay, and we're gonna feel that pressure on the knife edge of the foot, pinky toe ball mound and, and the heel ball mound <clears throat> as it's the inside ski. And it's gonna help steer and aim and set yourself up for a transition from the other leg onto this leg now. And we've transitioned, we're building pressure even before we change that edge. We're building pressure. So as we change that edge and we get to that new, the new carving edge, the new inside edge of this leg, as we get to that and the tr pressure change right through the center of the ski, that tip is going to be engaged and wanting to bend and create some shape at the top and down, okay? So it's kind of the motion. There's lots of ways to do it. If it gets too tired, you can work it right in front of you. You can carve them backwards. So as we learn to articulate the foot, it can feel actually very fluid and smooth. Uh, there's a lot going on in this in my foot and helping keep the direction. Okay, so we're trying to match the direction of the foot with the knee. Chin out, coming across and cross out. Nothing's exact, nothing it, but what we're doing is we're activating the muscle systems uh, that'll be used in skiing on the snow. Okay, this leg does get that point that way. Okay, the inside leg, and we want to pressure it, and we're going to extend it through a turn. And we're going to let it absorb, absorb, absorb as it releases. It's going to point and go right along with the whole movement of that other leg who's carrying all the weight now. Um, but we still have to be active and steer and move the legs. Okay, there's other things you can focus on too, is to draw your belly up. Draw your belly into your ribs. Activate the core through your pelvis, back side of your pelvis, front side. Draw that up and make some movements. Keeping your arms uh, you can actually do some ski pole work as well. Okay, so we take our hands. When I'm coming across here, I'm moving for a pole plant. Boom, touch the pole plant. And now this pole is coming back under me. Inside pole is off the snow. Okay, coming out here, it just kind of follows along. Pole plant, pole plant. Okay, so the left arm here, what it's going to do is quite the opposite. When it's back, something like that. Kind of more. I got some on coordination too, but that's motor skills. Okay, that's what we do. If we can just spend some time in music and work on what that skill is, this way or is it this way? This makes more sense. And I think that's probably how it goes on snow. It's a little awkward here. Okay, so we're going for five minutes on a leg. Do two, do one. Okay, but as you get the ability to look around and move things and adjust things in your body and stay on one foot, then when you get those bumps in the terrain and all these little things you want to do, you're going to have better balance and 
better outcomes. It's a theory. It's what I do for my teaching. So give it a try. Um, talk to a ski instructor after you take the, do these exercises. Go book yourself a lesson and say, I want to learn how to ski on one foot. I want to learn what that's all about. Book a level three instructor for a specific private lesson on skiing on one foot. And use your new balance motor skills to make that a successful lesson. Ah, that's the theory. And that's the lesson, a little bit short of five minutes probably. Oh, uh, it's 10. Okay, I don't have a good track of time. All right, I hope it helps. Cheers, I'd love to do a lesson with you too.